Hello there, Tuny Boy here, and welcome back to Bond Punk. Now, I've had a bit of a stinker. Basically, I recorded this, Dead Space, Day of Billions, and Warframe, and um, I'm going to have to record, re record all four of those because no idea why it didn't change anything, but something went tits up with uh, the audio. So, um, basically, oh, oops. So, in other words, everything stopped working. I didn't didn't glitch, didn't, you know, have any issues, it stopped working altogether. Nothing was picking up audio. Well, no, the game was picking up audio, but it was damn near mute, and I literally wasn't picking up any audio whatsoever. There was no audio at all coming from my mic. It weren't muted. Mic weren't muted. Weren't muted in OBS. Just stopped working. When I make a new scene and add the sources again, it works fine. I updated, I updated OBS. No idea how, what could possibly have been messed up, but got messed up, so I had to make my scene again. I had to do several checks to uh, uh, make sure that the audio, like the character dialogue in the game, wasn't echoing, which it, it was. But I think it, it, we've got it to the point now where it's not echoing. Uh, however, it might echo ever so slightly on just a few well enunciated words from characters, but I think those will be barely edible over either me talking the the main audio of the game um uh like or, or like i don't think it'll be even be really audible it'll just it will if if i am looking for it i can see the smallest audio spike from my mic in uh in in my editing software i think that'll just be the extent that that is but we're back where we left off at the end of the last episode so unfortunately that last hour or so has been uh erased you know i've got my watch here i'll set it up so I can keep an eye out on how long I've been recording for. So, it is like what? I don't even know where that's facing. That's probably about... I don't even... Hang on. Okay, I think my... uh, I think my watch is an hour behind. Because my... Yeah. I, I, I was going crazy then. I was like, that's not six. It's ten past... It's ten past seven at the moment. Or at least my phone says ten past seven. Which it will be because it's not six o'clock. It's not been that quick. Um, so uh, it's like, I was like, that's not ten past six, it's, it's like, it's not, you know, I've been, I've been, it, it's not six, right, okay, um, anyway, whatever that says, an hour-ish from now, we'll call it quits, so, let's, I've got to remember that I, I've got to remember that I need to investigate everything, because even though I might know what it says, I haven't looked at it on the series yet, so, Mariposa. Mariposa Annika del Coral Flores de Sotomayor. CEO of Mitsotomo Bornholm. Took me a while to learn that name. Okie doke, cool. Oh, yes. That didn't make her loathe me. And I still need her goodwill. Excuse me, sorry for that. So, um, yes. So, we can, we, we, this is, we're now playing multiple people. I don't know if we're anywhere near the finale. We, I feel like there's, I feel like we've got a lot more of this, uh, multiple this multi crew thing going on so I don't know if we're anywhere near the finale. Uh Flash. That's Flash. He's one looking angry. Eevee, no. Bad Eevee. Why do you look like a zombie there? Pretty sure that isn't in Flash's repertoire. I wanna know what's happened to Flash's uh, like actual grandmaster personality. Am I calling it that now? Is that where we're at? My nope. Not you hover back. My bike. Doesn't look like I'll be able to ride it anytime soon. You have a hover bike? <gasps> Mariposa said we need to use the Tomo hovercraft for transportation. Cool. Right. There's nothing over here. Uh, at all. Uh, to be honest, I got stuck in a puzzle for quite a while uh, in the last episode, so maybe we can make a bit more progress. Ragnarok's biggest competitor. But they're good people. We look out for each other. Oh, that is so sweet. Can we go in here? When this is over... You betcha. I'm gonna have a little party in there. Traitor. Alright. Uh, door. Door? That's our local street doc. One Alice Yuriko Van Hein. Weirdest name I've ever heard. But she's competent as hell. Fair enough. None of our little gang is physically wounded. No need to go in there. Okie do. Waffle of fear. Where you at? <gasps> He's not here. Where is he? We cannot investigate. Okay, there's nothing. There's nothing here. Um, where does Jack? Not you. We named the Monkey Jack. Sorry. Couldn't help myself. Where are you going? No. That's Jack, a friend of Foxina. He lives. Did you just go all the way over there, there for that? A very well-fed cat. 
I don't want to bother him. He seems very happy. He's coming over to give us a good talking to about the way we use the terms well fed. Trash bin. Why did you why did you go all the way over there for that? That bin is responsible for the exquisite smell in my apartment. Do what I do. Close your windows permanently. I'd rather call a truck to get rid of that thing than reaching into it. Just do it. Uh, okay. Uh, don't stop. Come on, keep going. No! No, 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 no. There we go. I want to right click. Home, sweet home. Currently, also Mitsotomo Black Operations Headquarters. Ah, uh, Black Ops, what a game. Mitsotomo Hovercraft. Mitsotomo's crown jewel. The MIT-01. It's the finest drop craft in their fleet. Whoa, they have a fleet of these. Can I blow them up? I have a feeling we'll be gone for a long time. If there's any unfinished business, I should deal with it now. No. Off we go. Operation Save Ourselves from Weird Brain Slugs or something commences. Do not save yourselves from the brain slugs. Let them ascend you. Stellaris style. Where are we going? Uh, we're going to go to the Free Finland HQ first. Take us to the last known location of the Free Finland resistance cell. Saska Park, right? Yes. Skazka Park? The abandoned Russian theme park? That's exactly where we're going. On our way. Okay, all of, all of Flash just stood there. Oh, that's great. Um, just Tom cruising it. Is how I always imagined Russia to look like. I bet. It's a strange place for Free Finland to hide out. Hiding right under what could be considered Russian soil. A valid tactic. Where swans meet, the poster I found did indeed tell the truth. Okay. I know you dealt with them very recently, Flash, but let me try to find their hideout. You can take over once we're there, alright? Feeling a bit useless right now. Okay, do me, Abby. Go on then, Miss Rena's daughter. We'll be over there. Cool. Let me just write about how much I hate Tom Cruise at the moment. Not Literally, I mean this in a jokey way. Like, what a mad lad. The last time I saw him and the stunt he was doing, he was with no kind of with no kind of safety equipment, parachute or anything, complete sat outside his seat on a goddamn plane. Like like outside an open air pl like just as in like crop dust not crop duster, but like Um I don't, I don't know what you call it, but um, he's just like sat on top of the plane, no safety equipment, nothing, and I'm like, dude, I get it, but please don't. I get the point you're trying to make, but please, self-preservation. Like, what are you doing? This is, like, you. at this point, you're trying to get yourself killed to make a point. You're trying to get yourself killed and failing. I don't know, I don't know what to make of that. Okay, alright. Just, what? <laughs> huh. Okay, warrior, warrior statue. Tom Cruise. Of a warrior, imagine being a little kid. Your parents promise you to go to the amusement park. And then, an angry stone dude with a sword stares down at you. Very Russian. Very well. Can we do anything with you? I'm all for vandalism. But ain't nobody got time for that. Swan painting. A painting of a swan with a crown swimming in the water. It almost looks like it's trying to get away from this mess. Cool swan painting. This was a real swan, perhaps. What? Maiden painting. Maiden Probably voyage. A I don't know. Of a Russian fairy tale. He looks a bit scared. Scared and scarred? No. Nah, thanks. I'm not on cleaning duty. Cool. Anything else up here? We've got the Skatska Park sign. The sign says Skaska. That's Ska the Ska. word for fairy tale. It's the name of the amusement park. Okay, no. Skaska Park. Right, let's have a look at this, shall we? Where are you? Would you be? Skaska Park. There we go. Skaska Park is an oh, oh. Skaska Park is an abandoned amusement park situated on Haven's coastline. For the entirety of its 23 operating years, the park was owned by Russian businessman Faksimitri Rinilov. Though it was far from the most glamorous or exciting amusement park in the world, during its heyday, Skaska Park was fondly viewed and widely frequented by Bonhomme's underclass. 
Many of the park's attractions were based on Russian folk tales. For instance, Baba Yaga's Labyrinth. One of the park's most popular attractions saw visitors navigate a shifting subterranean maze inhabited by an advanced animatronic creature. If patrons made any sudden movements upon crossing the creature's path, they would be momentarily bombarded with an intense and highly disorienting holographic lightning display. Lighting display. Unnervingly, it was the Firebird, a roller coaster which ferried patrons through a series of loops at speed in excess of 200 km per hour that would ultimately bring about the demise of Skatska Park. On Easter Saturday in 2137, two carts detached from the roller coaster and plummeted to the earth, ending the lives of nine people. An investigation launched by the conglomerate concluded the accident was the consequence of the Oh, um, here we go, so we're reaching the end, was the consequence of improper maintenance procedures. Two employees were convicted of criminal, le criminal negligence over the accident, and Rinolov was forced to pay out millions of credits and damages in a string of heavily, heavily publicized civil cases. The financial strain caused by these lawsuits, coupled with months of negative press, proved too much for the park to bear. Skatska Park shut down in December 2138 and was laid abandoned and has laid abandoned ever since. Yeah, man, you've got to, you, you can't take, when people's lives are on the line like that, you can't take that lightly. Skatska Park sign. I can't reach that sign. That's fine. We don't need to. Ticket booth. It's funny how people still crave real things like paper tickets. Something about human interaction that the net just can't replace. Is that supposed to be a comment on social media? Because I'm not. I'm not. I'm not ending the the YouTube ness. No. No. Stop it. Didn't plan on cosplaying as a booth clerk today. But then you didn't plan on being here at all today. For, uh, I do not have a Copperberg with me today, but for some reason I thought that it was the picture of this maiden saying that. I'm not joking. I was looking over here. I was like, "What's going on?" Right, camera. The security cameras are still working. Must be on the public grid or something. Must be. No, no. There's a few reasons to stay away from that part. One. It looks really damn scary in there. Actually, that and the fact Excuse that me. nothing in there we need are enough reasons for me. Okay. The entrance leads into Skazka Park. Or what's left of it. 20,000 people used to live here now it's a ghost town? Don't know. Camera. Didn't actually click on you properly. Not touch him. If the park's alarm system's still operational, we'd be swarmed by Corporal in no time. Do it. Okay, alright. Why is that ripped open? That's what I want to know. Can I do anything with you? Are you going to shoot me the same as before? The security cameras are yep, okay. Not gonna yep, okay. Alright, 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 alright. So, we've got, what, witch painting? An evil looking witch. Baba Yaga, maybe? There's even a maybe. Bullet holes. Someone must have been a bit superstitious. If they were, they missed. Talking direct about placing bullet holes and things. Cool. I'll leave her alone. Seems to be doing a great job at guarding the gate. Is this the uh, the Halloween edition of Getting Over It? She's in a barrel and it looks like she's propelling herself along with the broom. Bennett, don't do it. Um, right. Okay. So we've got the, we've got the swan. It is apparently not just the one swan, actually. Uh, swan. Hey. At least I assume it is. Never seen one of those things before in my life. We are in that age, miss. That thing looks dangerous. No way I'm touching that. Good instinct. Swans and geese can be quite vicious. We've started using them as guard animals in some of our facilities. You gotta be kidding me. Well, apparently they can break a man's arm or blow up a man's house. Pristine pond. Odd. Very odd. Don't want to swim or walk in that pool. It's cold enough already. No need to get wet on top of it. Maybe not. But maybe there is. Dangerous. No, I didn't. No, 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 no. Flash. That's Flash. He's one good looking andro. Maybe. That swan has red eyes. Maybe this one can blow up a man's house. I really don't like how that animal looks at me. I'll stay away. This swan looks a bit different than the others. There's something odd about it. Wait cool. A second. Yeah, it's got red eyes. Scanning scientific data. 
assuming There's mind control. Signal coming out of the swan, and it's pinging the hatch under the pond. If this is some security mechanism, it's the weirdest thing I've ever encountered. I forgot to provide the password. I forgot to say, uh, speak friend and enter in Finnish. How, how, how do you say that? When Skaska Park was at its height, exhausted moms and dads would have probably fought for a calm place to sit. Yeah, mate. I'd love to have a break, but Mariposa and Flash probably want to press on. Not exactly my kind of place. Yes. It's a bit creepy here. It is a bit creepy. Um, cool. We've got. Let, can we shoot this thing? Uh. Mariposa, my current companion. Flash, what a hunk of metal. Under a school. I did shoot this thing before, but I want to see if it. No, no, that's not what I did before. There's an easy way to disrupt the Wi-Fi signal without getting too close. Here we go again. The famous Rena's daughter problem-solving method. Oh, shut up. Sorry, little Andro. Wait, did you say Android? A swan with a Wi-Fi signal? Definitely Andro. Don't worry. No Andro that small is sentient. If you say so. Open fire. Any last words? Nope, too late. Check. Signal stopped. Yep, signal's gone. But nothing happened. Don't tell me you shot that thing for nothing. Patience. And we got we it. Go. Access granted. I should not have doubted your unorthodox talent. Oh yeah. Well, we all make mistakes, ma'am. Drain pond. What do we do with it? How, how are we? Come on. Let's go. Drained. We have access to the hatch now. Yes, we do. Now that the water's drained, access to the hatch is much easier. Much easier. Right, hatch. There seems to be a human-sized hatch at the bottom of this pond. How weird. How weird. Looking forward to the faces of Free Finland when they realize. They aren't as clever as they thought they were. Flash Let's proceed. Huh? How about opening that hatch for the ladies? Do right it. Away. Come on, Flash. Do the thing. We're in. This Wait, hang on. I didn't really exactly look like the We're in. Of militant dissidents. It looks a bit like where I live, actually. Setting up shop right under that pond was probably considered too insecure. You want to take over? I've what is that thing? That's there are eyes in that grate. We'll explore the area. Their HQ can't be far from here. Where do these sewers lead anyway? All born homely in sewer grids end at a sewage neutralization facility by the sea. So the conglomerate's not lying when they say they care about the environment, eh? Vital ecosystems are kept intact. Ill workers are inefficient. But personally, I think there are better reasons. Sometimes, you sound like a real human with feelings, Mariposa. You know me far less than you think you do. Ladies, let us then commence our journey. Cool. Can I investigate this dude? Wait, are we, are we proceeding? Wait, am I playing as Mari? I'm playing as Mari. Okay, alright. Sewage water. Stinking green sewage water. Who knows what disgusting stuff, or worse, lurks down. Very well. Wait, can we do anything with this? I will not touch that water. I will not. I will not. What well, I feel like that's a reference to something. Notice. Ocean observation deck six A is closed. So it is. No. Hmm. Conglomerate writing manual, page five forty nine, clearly states how to properly communicate trespassing consequences. Death sentence for entering a maritime observation post? That would unnecessarily undermine public trust. This is clearly not an official con health notice. It's a fake. Looks like Free Finland didn't expect Madame Mitsutomo herself to come down here. We have our destination, ladies. Onward! Once more into the breach. Locations observation decks. Okay, I, 
uh, I'm no, I did get it. I had to have gotten this because I, I, I remember getting that piece of dialogue. Observation decks. Across the island of Bornholm lay several underwater observation decks, constructed by the conglomerate in an effort to boost tourism to the city. Though Bornholm's waters host an assortment of interesting marine animals not to be found anywhere else in the world, these attractions proved less popular than anticipated. Only four years after they'd been built, all the decks were written off and abandoned by the conglomerate. Though a handful still lay completely empty, at present the island spanning array of observation decks effectively belong to the city's subterranean android gangs. Bornholm's androids are used to living in the sewers, and the fact that most observation decks are in close proximity to the ocean makes navigating the maze-like maze layout of the sewers an easy feat. Okie doke. Cool. Uh, so we, can we do anything with this notice though? Okay, all right, cool. Unless there's loads of them to the right. There's even more sewer to the right. Cool. I will literally do this. There's even more sewer to the left. I'm gonna do it for each and every direction. Don't you worry about that, sweet summer child. There's even more sewer up there. Okay, so keep an eye out for that uh, thing, the 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 the, 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 the notice. All right, I'm gonna go this way, then I'm gonna go that way, then I'm gonna go. Wait, we're on six F. Did it say six A was the one that we're going to? We're going to six A, aren't we? So we need to keep going up, don't we, until we're we're there. I think we're getting closer. Maybe. Maybe. Wait. But we're not. We're, we're not we're not there yet. We need to. Where's the? Uh, this is like a dead confusing. This is like a dead like maze type area. So it's it's tricky, right? Keep going. We're we're on six F at the moment. No, we're, we're on like what six D perhaps. We need to keep going until we get to six. No. Nope. Yep. Okay. Right. So go back for a second. No. Oh, come on. There you go. No. Ah, uh, fresh air. I'm sorry, but we're not supposed to be here. No. Right, what happens if we go down? Do we get closer to A or further from A? Right, come on, let's go this way. See if I go up and then right, I should yeah. Yeah, okay, right, okay, that's fine. Right, right. Okay, so let me go. We're on six F. That weren't where we, that wasn't where we were a minute ago. What do you mean? That wasn't. Uh, this is what confuses me about this area is that even if you go back, it's not. It's like the room that you've just gone back in is like flipped. Ah, uh, right. Okay. Wait. Okay. Keep going. How would you know that? Can't wait. There's no sign or anything for us to see. I'm not even sure that the location you're going to is consistent each time. I think it's literally just you have to like make it up as you go along. Go up. I think we've Damn it! Right, okay, so if we go right, let's go down. If we go right, down, left. What? What's what's happened here? What has happened here? Something. What? No, no, no. I don't know what's happened. No, some. Mari, Mari, come back. You can speed walk in this game. I, how has this even happened? How could this even possibly happen? What's even going on here? Okay, we're out. There's even more super yeah, I didn't. Li I didn't right click. What do you mean? What even happened then? What? What even? Uh, what? I'm so mate. My brain is gone. I've just been black bolted. What is the? What? What? How did that even happen? Like mechanically, how was that even possible to happen within the code based on like the engine the sh is using? Surely. And second, how do they even get out of that? What on earth? I am dead. Is this limbo? Is this what that is? Where am I going right now? What? What? Uh, how do I even? What? 
Bruh! We I went up once, what do you mean? Right. If I go if I just keep going right, how long does it take for me to get to the the notice again? So go one, two, three. What's this just be like the right way to go? Literally. Like just Okay, so we've gone to six F. That I don't think this means anything. So we've gone like what, four so far? Five. I swear to god, this ends up being the right one. Nope, okay, alright, so six. I don't I don't get the logic to this. I'm pr I'm ninety nine percent sure that it's just randomly generated. Like there's no there's no path to learn, there's no method, there's no rule or or or, or anything that you, you use, it literally just is random. That's what that's what I'm getting from this. I I've not seen I've not set I've not got any pattern so far. Cool, we've gotten we're getting closer. Continue down. To the left. No, not ag not again, not again. Oh. No. God damn it! See what I mean? When you go back, it's like literally. I went back, and it just took me straight to the start. And it's like, no, come on. Yeah, like literally every time you, you move, it's just randomly generated. This is literally the same room that we just walked into. What do you mean? When the when when the rooms are so RNG that you literally walk from the from one room into the same room. Okay, though. All right. Let's go. I'm gonna keep going up. Let's see where that gets me. Why do I feel like I'm in an SCP level here? What's going? Like, come on. Looks like we're going. Okay. Yeah. I feel, right. Okay. The um, it's got it's got it's got to be set so that like it doesn't do anything if you just keep going in one direction. Like, it's got you've got you've got to pick a mix. It's got to surely. And it definitely doesn't work if you just keep going in the same one like that. If you keep going in between them. I think they saw through that one. Oh my god! And I can't even go backwards because that doesn't go back where we went for some reason. It takes us out, but oh well. Doesn't make sense. That's just geologically impossible. But you do you, I guess. Yeah, needless to say, I'm not a fan of this segment. I don't like that, um, like, li literally the, the paths are, are all RNG and there's no, not a, no. Yeah, needless to say, I'm not a fan of the RNG here and basically how everything is so random that there's no way to learn it. Like, there is no pattern. There's just, it just decides which one's which, like, each time. Come on, Oswald. Get in frame. There we go. Now, obviously, it's, you know, there's every chance that I just haven't found the, the, the trick, but, I mean, I haven't found the trick because none of the characters have any kind of input on it. Like, there's no, there does not appear to be a trick, you know? I'm gonna go to the right again. Let's go up. I think we're getting closer. Oh, it's, do you know it's been a while since I've heard that line? Right, let's go. Continue up. Come on. There we go. Come on. I'm sensing something here. Surely you won't RNG me in a straight line like that. Come on. Let's go down. Please. Please don't. Please. Right, go right, because I feel like it's been a while since we've been right. Oh! I, think we're getting closer. I literally went in a circle and I got that piece of dialogue. Like, I went right, I went left, I went down, I went right, I went up and got that dialogue. Bruh. No. All right. Okay. We're not. We're not there yet. I was like, no. You're not gonna tell me that I literally walked in a circle and got the right place. Like, there's not. No. This looks promising. No. I think so too. It's no. One moment too late. No. I was getting crazy back there. Can't say I enjoyed the atmosphere very much either. If my initial assessment was correct, 
There should be a bunch of angry Finns inside this observation deck. I went in a circle, and that got me here. Oof. Observation 6A. Must be one of the city's maritime observation decks. Must be. After the conglomerate stopped its maritime preservation program. Okay. It looks good where it is. Sure. Sign. Attention all service personnel. Door of observation 6A to remain closed at all times. Shame that. Maybe the next occupant will heed the sign's warning. I'll leave it there. Okay, no. Cool. Maybe. If so, maybe so. What's this up here? No, okay, that's just a lie. Okay, no. Burning barrel. Sewage water. Yeah, I still feel like that line's a, like a reference to something. Angel light. A a and light. Man with a bird that I've never seen before. No, sorry, that's racist. And who would you be? Name's Angel Light. Who are you? Someone who's looking for free Finland. Are you with them? Depends. You bringing trouble here? No. Maybe. Good to hear. I'm not with them, but I really hate trouble. What are you doing here then? Just passing time. The Finns have promised to smuggle me into Russia. Hmm. Strange place to want to be. Oh, no. Nah. Just going there to catch us up all the way back home to New Zealand. Sounds like a fascinating story, but I have to go. Take care. Oh, you know, does that arm get tired? Burning barrel. It wouldn't be a den for the downtrodden if there wasn't a burning barrel. That's harsh. The for the poor is showing again. This is the 22nd century Miss Rena's daughter. We have advanced and cheap heating tech. People Wait, don't have homes. Let them eat cake. All right, uh, entrance. Let's go. Come on. There's a lot of military equipment in there, and a few people, and a giant Finnish flag. We definitely found free Finland. I thought that music sounded a little bit like uh, the Game of Thrones music in there for a second. Evie, have we actually done this yet? Uncooperative and dangerous. Thankfully, though, at least she's competent at what she does. Cool, Flash. That's Grandmaster Flash Drive. I'm sure his real name is far more sophisticated than this, but it'll do for now. Sure. Let's go. Waffle? Waffle of fear. Ah, Evy and the funny bird and a new friend. Hello, sir. I'm. If I may interrupt you. I think I should be handling this matter. I've had dealings with this man before. All yours. Don't worry. I've forgiven you for your betrayal. You're here, so that must mean you want to join our cause. I help want to join your cause. You need the help of you fine, freedom-loving people. Help? Sure, sure. I'm not allowed to negotiate on our behalf. Something about me being... Unstable. Sorry about that. <laughs> Unstable. Mm. But Hussar's back there. I'm sure she can help you. Hussar? Hussar is here. Would have expected her to come home at some point. I'm not gonna get involved in family matters, Evie. Just go talk to her. Oh, I definitely will. Good idea. Carry on then. Flash, Miss Renus. Are you a hawk? No. Let let's not, yeah, let's not get involved. Thank you for your time. Hey, Bob, please follow me, ladies. Port toilet. Why is there a death symbol on the toilet? Why is that something that some that an artist drew into this video game? It seems obvious that these humans want to maintain a certain standard. Leaving their waste outside in the sewer would perhaps be dangerous to their health. Maybe. I do not need to go. Me neither. Ever need to go? I do not feel comfortable sharing this information. You have feelings. Tank shell. A uh, tank shell? Whatever it is, it looks very dangerous. I'm not sure if I saw that before. I do not want to carry high oh, yes, I did. things around. Cool. Right, let's go. Uh, Mariposa. Mariposa Annika Del Coro Flores de Sotomayor, CEO of Mitsotomo Bornholm, a name that commands respect. There you go. She's a bit out there, but she also rescued me. 
for which I'm very grateful. Cool. Waffle of here. That is Waffle of here, the kebab salesman. He lives and works right next to the Ragnaroks. Of course he does. Can we speak to him? But I do not think that would be a worthwhile conversation. He does not appear very lucid. Maybe. Aqua suit. A suit that allows humans to traverse the dangers of the ocean. It looks suspiciously like the remains of an android I once knew. Oh dear. I am absolutely waterproof already. Well, that's good to know. That would be, be a very useful uh, ability. Good to know that they have rocket launchers and tank shells here. Please don't tell me they plan on firing those together. I am truly no expert in weaponry, but this is a shoulder-mounted rocket launcher. Okay. If I were caught with this up in Bornholm, I'd be shot instantly. I'd rather not have that happen to me. Of course, weapon rack. An ensemble of assault rifles. Pick them up. Nope. Rifles. Self guiding and self cleaning. Top models too. Self cleaning. Not even I got to play with those babies when I was in the combat hacker department. Our mission depends on keeping a low profile. These weapons wouldn't help. Mm, I'll be holding on to that piece of information. Eternus. I need to play Eternium. Looks like some Just thought I'd uh, throw it out there. Hologram, perhaps? You're correct. That's an Eternimus line security hollow. Popular in Little Japan. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Little Japan. I wonder if there's a codex lock for that. This is cracking. That's not good. There is no way for me to reach that high. I don't think we need to put on this weapon crates. What have you got? What do you bring me? You can only guess the weapons of war hidden in those crates. Judging by the labels, there's a lot of conglomerate tech in there. And I mean a lot. Cool. The dear freedom fighters would take offense if I took their equipment. I am sure of it. I'm sure of it too, sir. We've got a medkit over there. Have we got peels here? No? Okay. Alright. Holographic statistics. 7.2 degrees. This display shows statistics of the surrounding waters. Good for it. The display does not have an interactive element. Alright. We've got the vodka bottle. And we've got the free finish flag. The finish flag. Not free flag. Not free finish. finish. Flag. This particular one has seen combat before. Of course it has. Not dare to take from them their symbol of resistance. Of course not. Right. Vodka bottle. An empty vodka bottle. Of course it is. Roxhouse brand even. Yeah, hello, Hussar. May I take this bottle? Over my dead body, chummer. But it's I empty. Understand. Uh, okay. Safe. A safe repurposed to serve as regular storage. A safe that is not a safe. It is not my place to rummage through other people's property. Okay, Hussar! This woman looks dangerous. She is... She is my sister, Hussar. A pleasure to be able to put a name to your tales. Of course. Notable persons, Hussar! No. Ragnarok tenants, Hussar! Agnieszka Sokolov, known by her friends and enemies as Hussar, is the crassest and brashest woman in all of Haven. Not quite the opposite of Sharp, but close enough. Hussar's problem-solving capability- wait. Not quite the opposite of Sharp, but close enough. Hussar's problem-solving cap capabilities begin and end with brute force. Being the daughter of Harald Sokolov, Hussar knows Bornholm better than the back of, ben, better than the back of her persistently bruised hand. As a youngster, she spent much of her time helping Harald run on the Ragnaroks, and thus became well acquainted with ha with Haven's colourful residence. Hussar cultivated a reputation for being surprisingly assertive given her age, standing up to unruly customers many times her size. This streak of hers would never cease, but rather intensify in her adolescent years, as she, against Harald's wishes, became the Ragnarok's de facto muscle. Hussar's fighting prowess soon drew the attention of Bornholm's criminal elements, who offered the young brawler enticing compensation for her limited yet robust set of talents. Along with her best friend Evie Rinas not here, Hussar became entangled with a string of local street gangs uh, throughout her late teens and early twenties. Interrupted by a few brief stints in prison for assault and lesser property crimes, after Rinas, uh, oh, right, there you go, end of sentence. After Rinas Dottir was wounded and captured by Mitsutomo during a job gone wrong, Hussar turned her back on crime, perhaps believing she would suffer a similar fate if nothing changed in her life. Uh, Hussar would return to the Ragnaroks, where she would once again served, uh, where she once again served as the bar's muscle. In spite of her, in spite of her rough exterior, Hussar has consistently demonstrated herself to be a principled, dependable, and loyal woman. This loyalty is best exemplified in her friendship with Evie. Though their relationship has been quite tumultuous at times, the pair are known by many in Haven to be thick as thieves. Though said title befits only Evie as of present. All right, Hussar, how are you? How have you been? Greetings. Yeah. Greetings, you old banshee. 
How's hiding from your problems working out for you? Um, I think perhaps it's best if you talk to her. You uh, been speaking to Klump? You've been talking to Klump at all the last few days? Yeah, he's been doing fine. Business has been picking up after you left with your Mitsutomo posse. Tell me to tell you you're an insufferable little brat. Yeah, I, I deserve that. Thankfully, Mitsutomo didn't just blow the rocks up or something crass like that. Thanks so for I that. I don't think your little incident will hurt the rocks in the long run. Gotta say, Mariposa isn't all that bad to run with. But don't tell her I said that. You're speaking at normal volume and she's right behind you. So what are you, uh, no, uh, when are you coming back to the Ragnaroks? When are you coming back to the Ragnaroks? As soon as you've got your life sorted out. Oi. What's that supposed to mean? She's got a bunch of fair. The bar back under control. He doesn't need my help right now. You're off doing whatever it is that your little troop is doing. So I'm taking well-deserved time off, helping my Finns organizing their business. What are they up to these days? Blowing Drek up here, or actually helping the fight in Finland? <laughs> the Russians just sent a fresh army over there. Heard they're incompetent as hell. So our little cell here can focus on annoying the Russian envoy here in Borno. Well, at least you won't have to um, any postcards from the war zone. What were you up to since you left us all hanging? Can I left right click that? No. No, okay. What were you up to since you left us all hanging? Stop it right there, you little schnapsdrossel. Clump told me everything that happened. This is all your mess. You just had to do that damn data drill. Drunk out of your skull. And now you're carrying around some sort of psycho virus in your head. And you're just casually hanging out with the CEO of Mitsutomo. That rhymes. I need you too, Miss Sokolov. This is so above my pay grade. When I figured that you and Clump weren't in mortal danger, I asked my friends here if I could hang out until this all blows over. And here I am. You know, Clump had a gun to his head when they dragged us to that damn harbor pier. And I was there. My mackerel pointed right at the Mitsutomo thug's head. You were? She was. We had our own sniper in position in case she would have actually taken action against us. You did? Aw, that's the hus <laughs> I know. Oh, cool then. I shouldn't have doubted you. Always count on me to die a death only a little bit less stupid than your own, sis. Cheers, sis. This was strangely heartwarming, I think. Yes. Um... Why are you working with Free Finland? Waffa said to ask you for help from Free Finland. The hell? Yeah, the cell's out on a mission right now. Just think of me as their secretary. That okay, do doesn't work for me, Hus. You'd punch the first dreckhead asking you to take notes. <laughs> Whatever. You'll have to speak with me anyway if you want to reach them. So what is it? Okay. I need your help. So to get rid of those things in our heads, we gotta raid a Eurograph facility. We need someone on the ground with enough firepower to blast a hole in their defenses, so we can slip through. Oh, that's all? A direct assault on a megacorp? Sure. Want them to blow up a space elevator, too? Let's cut to the chase. If Free Finland agrees to do this, I'll organize a customs exemption for them. Imagine, your friends being able to come and go Oops. with all the contraband they want, and no one will stop them. Sounds good. Do it. serious about that, exec? Dead serious. If they agree, they could smuggle a fighter jet for all I care. And I promise the conglomerate will look the other way. And why would you do that? Come on, girl. Do you really think the conglomerate is a friend of the Russian Empire? It wouldn't bother the council one bit if your little group puts a dent in those warmongers. Huh? War is bad for business, after all. Okay. As long as you're not uh, profiting so, from it. You're gonna tell them or what? I'll do you one better. I accept. We'll do it. We? Well, let's just say I may have described my position within Free Finland a bit inaccurately. Go on. What's that supposed to mean? You I'll lead it. Time. We accept. We'll join your raid in exchange for that customs exception of yours. Exemption, but yes. Ready, and I'll organize the troops. Let's do that. Uh, Good. Uh, are you? I said another time, Evie. We have a deal, Miss Sokolov. How wonderful. I do enjoy harmony. Yeah. Thanks, Hus. 
Good stuff. Now, if you excuse me, I've got to organize your operation. All right. See you soon then. See you soon. Right. That's that's that done, isn't it? Are we going out? Do I have to go through the whole thing again, or are you just gonna? Right. I believe uh, you you teleport me out, don't you? If I if I do this, so uh, we can just go to the sewers. Nope. Wait. That's the exit to the sewers. Didn't get that before. There you go. Right. Off we go. To the left. The way back should be much easier. I should hope so. There we go. Right. We can just... Ah, fresh air. Finally, at long last. Let's go. No, 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 no. To Hovercraft. There we go. Where are we off to now? Good old Flash as always. We, we can go to the Chaos Circuit's Android Gang. There we go. This is just about as far as I got last time. Don't worry, we're not ending it here. So this is the famed Chaos Circuit Castle, home of the Chaos Circuit's energy gang. Oh yes. Been here before, right, Flash? Been dealing with those Andros before? No, I know of them. They would have never let old me into their sacred castle. But let me try to conduct myself properly as our leader for this mission. Rar. Your Roar. flirting is getting tedious, Miss Rena's daughter. Thank you. I'm on Mari's side here. Stop your quarreling. This situation is hard enough for me already. As we discussed, our task here is to ensure the Eurograv lab will have no electricity when we infiltrate it. We will not be able to use Mitsotomo resources to ascertain Mariposa's involvement does not get exposed. Correct. Therefore, to ensure our desired outcome, we will need to procure the services of the gang behind these walls. As experts in illegal energy drains and siphons, they are the perfect choice for us. Correct? Correct. Carry on, Flash. I'm confident your presence will make negotiations much easier. Ah, oh, yes! The negotiator! What are we doing now? What was that? I think it came from the alley behind us. That sounds pretty unique. That's a Mitsotomo minigun. Not a good sign. Oh, dear. Mm. Okay, derelict truck. An old American there we frontiers go. truck, self-driving. One could say that this truck is a much older cousin of mine. You're not nearly as fat, though, sexy. Pardon me, Evie? You heard me. Evie! The truck appears to be in a very bad condition. I endeavor to not make matters worse. You are sweet. Evie! That's Evie. She's oh, wait, no, we, we have done this. We have done this. Right, okay. Uh, we have a derelict truck. We can't do anything with you. Can we go out? Right, okay, we've got uh, to the hovercraft. MIT-01. Our hovercraft is parked over there. Okay, no, we're not going there. To alley. Situated beyond this alleyway is some sort of, how to describe it, industrial grove. Very well. We will not be going down there just yet because we don't need to. Sign! Chaos Circuit like Castle. The classic design of the sign. Aesthetically pleasing. Yet bold and open to interpretation. It's a neon sign flash. Yeah, mate. Art is art. I mean, you're not wrong. I do feel the desire to factions the in their sign. Alas, I lack the skills to do so. Cool. Let's do it. Uh, what was it? Locations. Uh, where are you? Locations. No. Hang on. Is it? Is it gone somewhere? No. Is it? What's going on here? Why, where's it gone? Factions. Oh, there we go. The Chaos Circuits. The Chaos Circuits are a brazenly anti-corp android gang whose exploits have drawn, drawn the ire of the conglomerate and the adoration of the city's downtrodden mechanical class. Comprising the gang's membership is a vast assortment of androids, from decommissioned security guards and clan clash combatants to former cybersecurity personnel and medical bots. Power brokers in both the metaphorical and literal sense, the, uh, the Chaos Circuits are traders in electricity. Its hackers have routinely managed to infiltrate the private power grids owned by Bonham's corporate, and st uh, corporate hegemony to siphon their electricity and store it in makeshift batteries. These batteries are in high demand among criminal enterprises and regular androids alike, and thus fetch a high price on the black market. However the, however, the Chaos Circuits are known to have used these batteries to restore power to Haven during blackouts purposely triggered by the conglomerate in response to unis oh dear, unionization attempts. Though these acts of defiance have placed the gang uh, in the conglomerate's crosshairs, Corporal has constantly failed to curb the activities of the Chaos, Chaos, Chaos Circuits despite its best efforts. 
Though the chaos circuits are loathed by the conglomerate and the island's corporate entities, their reputation among the city's working class and android population is far more positive. Having only ever targeted corporations and rival gangs, the chaos circuits have cultivated something of a folk hero status in Bornholm, something akin to Robin Hood as we will find soon. Korg 1 I'm not sure whether that's an androdot or a cybernetically enhanced one. I surrender. Way, it looks fascinating. Cool. Good dog. Good doggy. Bad andro. You can talk? I didn't think you could talk either. Why can you talk? Because someone has to tell the juice beggars who come here all the time to shove off. You're a guard dog? Guard Corgi. Fascinating. Patronizing metalhead. Really? This was a week ago. I'd be very confused right now. Would you kindly allow us access to the castle, good sir? Would you kindly allow us to access the castle? Sure, come on in. Just like that? No ridiculous demands? No bribe? The circuits registered your hovercraft long before you landed. They know who you are. Well, that's convenient. And also a bit concerning. These aren't rusty old worker droids. The circuits are top-notch info dealers. What was that minigun sound about? What's that minigun sound about? That's that cork dreckhead behind the fort, practicing her andro slaughter skills. Excuse me? Group of bored conglomerate execs. They're on one of their fun vacations. Why would you take a vacation in the works? Because that's where all the andros hang out that won't be missed if you mow them down with a fully automatic heavy gun. Ugh. I've heard of such hunting parties before. They're certainly not tolerated by the conglomerate. Well, they're here, and they're out for blood. Look at the slot of the circuits, actually. Better be careful. Mm, we will. Do you, by any chance, know a cat named Apollo? Do you, by any chance, know a cat named Apollo? Is Apollo a talking cat? So you know him? I don't, but everyone always assumes I must automatically know all the talking animals on this island. Sorry, I didn't mean to offend you, good dog. Corgi. 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 See you later. Come on, See there we go. Later. Bye. Bye, have a great time. Alright. Rude graffiti. How is this rude? What's going on? Oh. Someone signed it. See? Right there. It says GMF. Darn. Cool. I don't, <laughs> I don't have anything to say about that. Nor spend time removing it. We don't want to spend time removing it? Okay, fairly well. Can we go over here? We've got the trash pile. Urban trash. Due to its location, it is comprised mostly of electronics. Of course it is. Trash pile. Otherwise, Andro once said, I don't think so, Flash. Okay, very well. What's... There's nothing over here. Whoa, what's this? Familiar graffiti. That... That is me. That's me. You must be quite known in this area after all. We made the right choice choosing you for this particular task. I'm sure I only did heinous things back then. Oh, come on now. You don't have a single evil bone in your chassis. I hope your words reflect reality, Evie. He just like me. He speaks just like me. For real, for real. I don't want anything to do with this shameful display of my past self. Cool. Let's proceed. No. Let's keep going. Right. Let's get inside this castle. This fortress. This... I don't know. Entrance. Opening gate. Why, thank you, Cork, sir. Instantly feels like home. I've seen much worse places in this area. Mine, for example. Good point. Who are we speaking to? Who, what, where, why, when? If so, and, but, whatever. Where's the... Oh, there we go. Derelict truck. Whereas from the outside, we could only see the cab of this beauty. Now we see the truck in its full glory. I feel like it has to be alive for that. To be of the same species as this beacon of productivity. You think you're the same species as a truck? Its self-driving AI was declared sentient 50 years ago. We are certainly related. Most interesting stance. Most interesting. Very well. Derelict truck. Leave it in its slumbering state. I'm sure it did a lifetime worth of hard work. Let it rest. There we go. This thing will show up in 70 years to help fight Thanos. Pull! There's a floodlight attached on the top of the pool to keep the castle's surroundings well lit. And there's also a little andro attached to it, keeping it clean. Very cute. Cool. Pull! I am reasonably sure neither the washing andro nor the pole wish to be disturbed. 
Right, okay, fair enough. Uh, Jonathan. He looks like he's enjoying himself and his work. And the beats. What beats? What's he listening to? Hey up there. I can't hear you. I'm listening to Andran's music. I don't think there's much of a conversation to be had here. Maybe not, right. Anything else pay right, so we've got these game these things, alcoves. Android recharging station. Ah. Full to the brim with energy. If I had one of these, I would not have to manually recharge all the time. Hmm. They do not belong to me. I will not recharge using someone else's property. Do you need to recharge? Uh, that's important. Generator. A sizable generator. It is likely that the chaos circuits use it in periods of low energy throughput. This model? Even has a fossil fuel reserve tank. Petrol. Isn't that dangerous? Very. Very. All right. Ga gauges. Gauges. By its proximity to the generator and splitter, I reckon these gauges show the fort's energy load status. Very well. I see no reason to manipulate the fort's energy readouts. That would be quite dastardly. Quite dastardly. That is far too dangerous to casually tinker with. I'm not one for dangerous exploits. I kind of disagree there. Uh, computer terminal. I'm not particularly well versed on its actual function in its current location. Very well. Splitter. Ah, yes. A traditional splitter used to convert raw energy into more usable bite-sized chunks. Bite-sized chunks of energy? Are you sure you know the function of this thing? Certainly. You may just not be familiar with antro ways of describing the states of energy. Altering anything within the splitter would probably be catastrophic. Catastrophic. Lady Top Hat. A human working with an android gang? That's unexpected. She reminds me a lot of GN Isles, the space elevator architect. Oh. I that you say it. Impossible. Impossible. Notable persons. Gail Isles. Uh, let's have a look, shall we? Gail Isles. Uh, Mr. Tomo employees? Nope. Uh, Ragnarok's tenants? Nope. But you were just. What? But, but you were just. But you. Oh, there we go. Chaos Circuit members. The Energy Drainer Gang is a Chaos Circuit, a prominent android gang specializing in energy drainage, has dozens of members all over Bornholm. A few of them have risen to particular fame, particular fame or infamy, depending on who one is talking to. Gail Isles. The, uh, Dr. Gail Lady Toppat Isles is Bonholm's most renowned engineer and scientist. She bears the mi she bears the mind behind the GN Isles space elevator, along with a bevy of other groundbreaking technologies. It's safe to say that Bonholm wouldn't be the economic juggernaut it presently is if not for Dr. Isles' prodigious, prodigious, prodigious contributions to the scientific field. Uh, uh, I don't know why there's an end there. I don't know. Uh, what, uh, whatever. Shortly after completing her PhD, Dr. Isles was personally recruited by the conglomerate to join their joint R&D division. At the time, the conglomerate was investing billion credits in his STEM projects in the hopes of attaining a strategic technological advantage over rival powers. Um... Dr. Isles' thesis, Dr. Isles's thesis on high-energy magnetic fields caught the eye of the conglomerate, and she was given free reign to continue her research under their employ. After years of hard work and many sleepless nights, Dr. Isles conceived of the technology necessary to construct the world's first non-equatorial space elevator. Dr. Isles' eccentric nature is nearly as widely known as her scientific accomplishments. Being a particularly well-spoken individual, the conglomerate organized many outreach opportunities for Dr. Isles following the completion of the GN Sp Isles space elevator. She would Often make her public appearances wearing a rocket-powered, uh, uh, rocket-powered, uh, rocket-powered skirt fueled by a miniature fusion reactor located in her prominent top hat. Her unique yet keen fashion sense cemented her nickname Lady Top Hat in the minds of both the scientific community and broader society. Roughly ten years ago, Dr. Isles disappeared without a trace. The conglomerate has since downplayed the engineer's contributions to the city, fueling suspicions that the precocious engineer fell out of favor with the conglomerate. Though the exact reasons as to why are still up for debate. Oh dear, Lady Top Hat. She seems busy. Okay, no, off we go. So we've got a window. There's a few andros working inside, fixing their equipment and themselves. Oh, of course if they are. Only that was as easy for humans as it is for you. Why just fixing yourselves up? Just be John Wick. Hello. The andros inside seem too busy. Of course they are. Computer terminal. A computer terminal. It. It connects to the inside of the building and the splitter, an energy output control system. Indeed. Good. Knowing my luck, 
I'd blow up this whole place by pressing the wrong button. Yeah, mate. Uh, can we go in here? Can we go in there? The door leading inside the workshop. The Andros in there appear oh, very, okay. very busy. I was gonna say. Don't disturb them. Cause I, cause this is the puzzle I got stuck on uh, in the last one, so I was like, wait, did I have a go in there? Right, okay. This floodlight illuminates the main fort area. Andros can see just fine in the night, but so can the critters in the sewers. Light keeps them away. Oh, no, cool. There's no way for me to reach the light. That's fine. I don't think we really need to, to be honest. Batteries. Capacity batteries. The CC store every unit of energy they siphon that they don't sell, distribute, or use themselves. Very well. None goes to waste. Just touch all that sweet, juicy, delicious energy in there. No, will we? Big hole. This hole is where the chaos circuits siphon their energy from. Close to here, underground, is an electricity distribution hub. The gangers would use subterfuge and stealth to connect their cables to the hub. Then, using amazingly complex algorithms to prevent the conglomerate from noticing any siphoning, they slowly start mimicking energy consumption patterns of big energy consumers. Slowly but steadily, they then drain the sweet life juice from those unfit to wield it. That last remark sounded as if you're quite sympathetic to their cause. I despise criminal acts, but this energy is saving lives, Mariposa. Ethics before laws. You tell her, you hunk of junk. I don't even know what I'm saluting at this point. <laughs> Big hole. I won't get any closer to that hole. If I were to fall in, no. <laughs> I dare not even think about it. No. I dare not. Circuit. Good this afternoon, Andrew sir. Looks lost in thought. There's an electrostatic air of authority around him. Notable persons. Circuit. Alright. Uh, Chaos Circuits. Circuit. Circuit is a leader of the Chaos Circuits, Bornholm's resident anti-corporate android gang. A rather divisive character, Circuit is loathed by the conglomerate and beloved by the city's working class, with the latter group viewing him as a robotic Robin Hood. Much of Circuit's history is shrouded in mystery, though the city has taken to filling in the blanks in the form of fables. Some speculate that that circuit was constructed by a scorned engineer who, when ousted from either Mitsutomo or American Frontiers, created a charismatic working-class renegade as an act of rebellion against the corporate elite. Others believe circuit to be nothing more than a regular android who could no longer tolerate the unjust activities of the conglomerate. All that's known for sure is that circuit is the creator of the Chaos Circuit and the lead architect of the gang de of the gang's daring heists. At Circuit's behest, the Chaos Circuits have routinely raided the assets of the conglomerate and shared much of what they've, re they've reaped with the community. Unlike other criminal elements within the city, the Chaos Circuits have never succumbed to inf infighting under Circuit's watch. A natural leader, he maintains a loyal cohort of lieutenants who, uh, who themselves are equally devoted to upholding the gang's broader objectives. One of these lieutenants is the inexplicably amnesic Dr. Gail Isles, whom Circuit brought into the gang's fold years ago under circumstances known only to him. One of the the gang's few human members, Dr. Isles maintains the weaponry and equipment used by the Chaos Circuits to execu execute their heists. Circuit often justifies his leveraging Dr. Isles' labor by pointing out how much unpaid android labor was used to construct the space elevator bearing her name. Damn. Circuit. This andro looks lost in oh, wait, we, we've done this. Okay, Circuit. Good day, sir. Good day. I need to talk to the leader of the Chaos Circuits. We know that's him. Why are you holding that cable strand? Why are you holding that cable strand? One of my crew had a bit of an accident. What kind of accident severs a cable like that? The ion engine under my skirt kind. Excuse oh. me, please spare me your profanity. Oh, oh. Yeah. How is life in the Chaos Circuit Castle? How's life in the Chaos Circuit Castle? Pretty good. But we don't have to hide from corporal raids. Mm. All those drug heads besieging us right now. We've siphoned 13,968 megawatt hours this year alone. So you see, those degenerates can't hurt us. Goodness me, that's a lot of energy. Surely your batteries can't hold that much. Of course not. Who you think keeps the lights in the Andro sewers and half a haven on? Yep, that's us. You? Was more of a rhetorical question. But yeah, us. Chaos circuits forever, man. GG. I need to talk to the leader of the Chaos Circuits, so apparently we are asking this. I need to talk to the leader of the Chaos Circuits. Today's your lucky day. That's me, Circuit. Grand Spark of the Chaos Circuits. Pleasure. My name's Flash Drive. Grandmaster Flash Drive. Actually, I'm still trying to come up with a new name, but you can call me Flash. Aren't you that hobo who sprayed his mug all over our wall? 
That was a previous iteration of mine. Somebody got you my wife. Something like that. Yeah, we're still wondering uh, what's going on there. Uh, let me get straight to the point. We need your help. Let me get straight to the point. We need your help. Yes, you're not out for a fresh juice delivery. That court lady behind you doesn't look like she's lacking energy. You would be correct in assuming that. We rather need your unique skills. Of the draining kind, I guess. Yes, indeed. I... Um, We're going to drain a Eurograph uh, facility. The circuit knows better than to spill Mitsutomo's secrets. Reason I'm still sitting here. Oh, okay. We are planning a raid against a Eurograph facility in the works. Alas, we are unable to utilize corporate resources for the planned operation. You want us to drain a Eurograph facility dry? That'll cost you. How does what are we paying with? Never looking your way ever again sound to you? Tempting, but you know. That doesn't help us if your grab airdrops on us after your little gig. I am sure our Mitsotomo allies would be more than happy to additionally supply you with legal energy. Mariposa, is it possible to connect the chaos circuits to one of your fusion plants? Oh, shrewd. I like that energy flash. Is it possible? Intended, Miss Rena's daughter. You betcha. Hmm. Yes. We can connect your organization to the grid for, say, a year? Yeah, that's more like you got a deal under one condition. What's that? Get rid of those bastard corp hunters outside our walls. They're squatting in the square behind the little alley. We can't do Drek for you or anyone really as long as we have to keep an eye on them. Corp hunters mm -hmm. are usually bored execs out for a cheap thrill. Blasting android skulls, torturing them. Just because they can. Just like because they can. Circuit is talking about our corp hunters. We can't use MIT-01 or Midsec to get rid of them. Too much risk of someone taping that drag and sparking an island-wide incident. I share your analysis. On the other hand, we can't risk our new mm. friends getting sabotaged by some stray conglomerate thrill seekers. So we do need to deal with them. Clever. We will get rid of them without raising our weapons. But I promise you, Circuit, we will get rid of them. You sound almost patriotic, Flash. You must know, dear Eddie. I hate our current situation. But if we can help a merry band of metal Robin Hoods whilst working towards our own goals, then yes, sign me up. Let us do something good and righteous. Here Let us do this. Corp hunters are a disgrace to the conglomerate. Buzzing. You take care of these low lives. Soon as they're gone, the circuits are on your team, ladies and gentlemen. Cool. Now we just need to get the Brack 9 and the lot. Let's go. That's about all the time I've got for today. I hope you guys had about as much fun as I did. If there are any games you'd like me to play for, please suggest them down in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, have a great time.